navicular drop test is a great way to assess the midfoot and what is happening as far as a midfoot pronation perspective. The drop of the navicular drop test is really that plantar flexion of your talonavicular joint. If you remember from the lecture, we're going to measure three positions of the navicular. The first one is going to be in a seated position, relaxed. This is determining arch potential. You are then going to have the client stand up, feet shoulder width apart for measurement number two, which is a relaxed position. And then third, you're going to go into a single leg stance, which is considered active. You will then determine how much that navicular is dropping from open chain into a passive position, and then finally into an active position. What you'll need is a pen and some sort of stiffer paper, an envelope or postcard. Your first step, have the client sit down, feet are relaxed, and you are going to identify the navicular. If you remember from our anatomy practical, tibia is going to be the medial malleolus. Then we go down a thumb, that's the talus. And then third, you're going to fill a bump on the foot, and that is going to be the navicular. So we are going to draw the underside of the navicular. And then what I want you to do is draw a line that is going to be mimicking the ground. So that is going to be on the underside of the navicular. You're then going to do a perpendicular line, which is what your paper is going to follow every time you do the assessment. So we are going to bisect the middle of the navicular. So you can see we have a horizontal line and a vertical line creating that bisection point we will follow. Your first measurement, you're gonna take the paper, line it up against the bisection that you just drew, and then you're going to draw where that horizontal line is. Essentially, that is creating his arch potential. And the average arch height is 3.5 to four and a half centimeters. You're then going to measure in a bilateral relaxed position. So if you could stand up. Feet are shoulder width apart. Head is looking straight ahead, nice and relaxed. And then we're going to take that same measurement and you want to observe if there was any sort of dropping of that navicular. From that position number two, you're going to transition into a single leg stance, which is considered active. So as he's standing on just his right leg, he's holding onto the wall for balance so that we can minimize that movement of the subtalar joint. And then we measure here again, and we look for any sort of lift of the navicular bone. So I'm gonna have you have a seat, and I'm going to show the comparison of here. So this open chain is essentially showing his arch potential. The first marking is him standing both feet in a relaxed position. He dropped approximately six to seven millimeters. Remember, 10 millimeters is what's considered pathological. And then when he went into an active position or a single leg, we really didn't see any sort of lift of the navicular. What we want to typically see is that there is a lift in an active foot position. So those are your three measurements, open chain, relaxed bilateral, active single leg, and find the comparison of how much it drops, how much it lifts, knowing that some drop is normal, that's called arch compression. No drop is not good because that means that that midfoot is locked. When we go into a single leg position, you want to see a lift because the muscles are engaging. If you do not see a lift, then that means that you want to focus on intrinsic foot strengthening and foot to core strengthening. This is one part of your complete open chain and closed chain foot assessment.